In today's video, we're taking a look at how to clean your coffee pot easy and simple. This is so easy, anyone could do. Everything that we use on the video, we're gonna leave a link on the description. So you woke up today and you remembered you're gonna have guests for the holidays. The last thing you want is for your coffee pot to look like it's seen better days. Don't worry, here at the Stata Box team, we're gonna help you make that pot stop looking like the toilet. I mean, dirty. The first thing that you wanna do if you have some coffee on the pot is drink it or give it to your special someone, the one that you really love. There's nothing like showing love like having your loved one drink coffee from a dirty coffee pot. I mean, wait until we clean it, wink, wink. Now you have two options. You can previously clean your pot using soap and water and some old fashioned elbow grease or how we like it here at the Stata Box team, easy and convenient. So right after you gave your loved one some coffee, I mean you threw away the coffee, we go ahead and start the process. And the first ingredient that we're gonna send to war is baking soda. And we're gonna use how much it takes to cover the bottom of the pot. In our case, four tablespoons should do the trick. That's about 56 grams. But depending on your pot size, you may need to use less or more. You wanna move it all around so it could cover every nook and cranny of that pot. Now that the coffee pot powdered up, we get to our second ingredient of the night, and that is white distilled vinegar. And you can basically use any type of vinegar. When the supply chain is slow and low, we even use rice vinegar. It's not cost effective, but as they say, happy loved one, happy life. Depending on the size of your coffee pot is the amount of vinegar that you wanna use. In our case, we're using one cup of vinegar or about 239 grams. We like to do the half and half method because we like to watch the special effects and that also helps with the cleaning action. We throw half of the vinegar in first and then the other half a few seconds later. Once the action has settled, you can go ahead and choose your best fighting sword. You can use a sponge scrub, a bottle cleaning brush, a towel, a rag, in some cases, some gloves in your hands, your loved one's toothbrush or a family member or friends. And you know we mean the one that they don't use wink wink and we're basically gonna scrub every nook and cranny from that pot as the evidence shows the color of the solution usually with one round of fighting should be enough but if you notice that it needs a round two you can go ahead and do that once you're done we want to go ahead and take it to the sink and wash it the old-fashioned way soap and water and if you want to maintain it like that just washing it right after every brew gets the job done. And then depending on your use, either once a month or twice a month, the vinegar and baking soda solution. Now you can pat yourself on the back for showing off your cleaning fighting skills. You are the hero of your movie. Don't forget, if you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up, that really helps. If you have any questions, place them in the comment section below. Either someone in the Stata Box team or someone in the YouTube community can help you out with an answer. Don't forget to subscribe, follow us on social media. Thank you for watching and here's a link for our latest video.